Hey YouTube world, uh, I wanted to do a quick video of my smaller setup uh, and then a run through of all the equipment that I've got that I use for my landscaping business. So this is the truck that I'm using right now. I've uh, showed you guys this before in another video where I featured my larger trailer. So this is my 1995 Chevy four-wheel drive that might change this year for 2018 i might be i might be um i use that one and i also use a chevy avalanche that's back there um i may be selling both of these and getting a dodge that's really clean with low miles a 2000 and 2005 so right now i like white trucks uh they look commercial they look clean uh the dodge that i'm I might be getting as a silver truck and it's super clean and it's four door I have a family and I pretty much I need four doors just because um, you know it's easier for the kids you know to get in and out with the uh, car seats okay so here you got a an old probably 90s uh, Honda Harmony I think it's a 215 a uh, really great buy that I picked up for about a hundred bucks at the local pawn shop and it's got the metal adjusters here or, or the not the adjusters the metal uh, controls here that I really like uh, it's got three gears love that mower it's been awesome I've got the <clears throat> FS 91R the FS91R steel. Um, I got this one because of the shaft. It's got a straight shaft in here, or I'm sorry, a, a solid shaft. And I can replace the gearbox on this and put a, really I was getting it to replace the um, gearbox with a hedge trimmer, because uh, I do do hedges and I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to switch out the hedge, the, the, gearbox for a hedge trimmer okay so this is my smaller trailer this is a five by eight uh might be smaller than a five by in fact it might be a four by eight but um i've got my 32 inch my 32 inch velky the right walk behind uh really great mower it's got the kawasaki the fs 541v i bought this one i picked this one up last year um for about two grand and this was my first commercial purchase that uh, I had ever uh, gotten for my business. And it's been, it probably cut my time in half. Uh, the first time I went out with it, I did five, five lawns in five hours by myself. And when I have a worker with me or a helper, it's just a lot faster. I uh, love this thing. It came with the uh, Jungle Wheel or the uh, Sulky. Uh, I think for this one, it's called the Velky. Uh, you know, it's it just so much easier to get around in that. Uh, this little trailer, I bought it off of my stepdad. He had it sitting on his property and uh, asked him how much he wanted for it. And I'm going to, you know, guys, he, he actually gave me this. Uh, I was going to purchase it off of him. I gave him a check. He gave me, he gave me the check and, and voided it and uh, basically just gave me this little trailer and uh man just such a blessing to have something like this my brother he uh has been dabbling with some welding and is trying to get better at that so i told him you know he could work on my stuff and and practice and so he built me that little box right there and that's basically what i put my toolbox i'll, I'll put a toolbox in here put my water in here uh, i always carry a bag with me to pick up trash uh from a push mower I've got my my steel. I think it's a let's see here the B, BG eighty six. It is an awesome awesome uh, mower. That's my son in the background calling me. That's a BG eighty um, six powerful machine. The backpack blower that I use is a steel BR three fifty. It is um, definitely not the strongest blower that you can get, but I got that one for free. That uh, 
that mower was free. Uh, I'm sorry, that uh, blower was free, so I didn't pay anything for that. Um, I got it from a client who had it and wasn't going to use it. And he saw me with an old Echo that was just... Um, it was struggling and to say the least the carburetor needed work and he said man I got a I've got a, a blower for you and I want you to have it and so I actually give him some cuts for it and um, the the BG 86 I got from my uncle who has a landscaping business and he gave me that so in the blowers alone I think I had to put a, a new carburetor in the BJ86. I spent $45 on getting that repaired. Um, so I didn't spend anything on, hardly anything on my blowers. I think it was like 45 bucks. I have put new uh, straps. I just got these new straps on the uh, blower. And on the Honda mower, I think I replaced the oil, replaced the gas. And uh, that's about it. I turned on right away. Um, in the back of my truck, I do use my bed a lot. I'm not the most organized guy. The bed gets messy really quick. I use it for just about everything. And, um, you know, I, I usually carry my gas tanks in here. I carry my uh, wheelbarrow. Sometimes I'll take that out just to, you know, get some more room in there. I don't really like carrying that wheelbarrow around too much. And here's my... 16 foot trailer again. I've showed this one before. I'm actually going to get this one cut. I like um, I think his name is Handy Guy Dependable Lawn Care. I like the the side of his trailer, the sidewalls on his trailer. He's got a three foot sidewall on his and uh, these are five foot sidewalls. So let me know what you think about that, whether I should go ahead and uh, get those sidewalls cut. For me, they're just too big. It's 16 foot by six and something feet wide and then five feet high. Um, to me, it's just, it's overkill. It's too much. They, this was a trash trailer before and I'm using it for landscape. When I, I've filled this up to the top before, but not a, I, I don't do it a lot. Most of the time when I'm filling it up with, with debris, it'll come to about, it'll come to about, you know, three feet. And so sometimes it'll go to four feet, but I can always smash it down and put some, some type of uh, strap over it. Um, just put the ramp in here. And then we got the, uh, the mower that I used to cut. This is a 2004, I think, Laser Z uh, H X Mark HP. I need to take this guy out and give it a, give it a wash. It needs to be cleaned out. But it's got the 23 horsepower Kawasaki on it. And um, I picked this up from a good friend of mine that they bought a brand new mower for a camp that they run. And check this out, guys. They let me have this mower for a thousand bucks. It's got 1,600 hours on it. Uh, they had replaced the motor on it. It came with the Kohler. I, they replaced it with a Kawasaki. I guess one of their volunteers ran the machine without oil, so they had to replace it. I put a new battery in it, and I put new anti-scalping wheels recently on it. And uh, so pretty much, you know, this thing is, is just a beast. It, it pretty much cuts all of my... Cuts all of my larger properties, um, and then my, of course, my my smaller 32 inch. Whenever I run the 32 inch, I just take my 4x8 trailer and my truck, and that's that's what I cut most mostly everything with. If I know, if I have in my schedule, I know I'm going to do my larger properties, then I'll bring I'll bring the uh, the larger trailer. All right, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think about this trailer. I'm really curious. Also, let me know what you think about the Dodge. Uh, I'm curious to to hear some of y'all's comments. I'm going to get the, uh, it will be the 2005 Dodge with the 5.7 liter Hemi. Uh, I've heard that they do gas, uh, they do suck a lot of gas, but it's got a good transmission and a lot of power and kind of need that power for this trailer, especially when it's loaded up with uh, with debris or with trees or with uh, other construction type stuff. So uh, let me know guys. Peace out, like, subscribe, comment.